Francis Ford Coppola did not want Megalopolis to be woke and casted actors who were canceled to be in the movie. You may be thinking, oh, this senile grandpa's gotten out of bed to upset the hip young people. But get this, the headline exaggerated his quote and made it way worse than it actually is. It's only slightly worse. What he actually said was how he didn't want the movie to be seen as a film that lectured to people instead of actually exploring its themes, as well as pointing out how they had both conservative and progressive actors working together on this one film. I can kinda get where he's coming from, how everyone came together to make this one man's ultimate passion project, a film that's been in the works for literal decades to make it a reality. That's pretty respectable. But when it comes to the quote, actors who were canceled, it kind of sounds like Coppola's downplaying exactly what they were canceled for. The main actor brought up when mentioning canceled actors is Shia LaBeouf being cast in a supporting role, after a lot of accusations came out about him abusing two of his ex-girlfriends. The only other quote in the article is Coppola praising Shia's talent as an actor while also admitting things were tense between them. While I can admit the guy can be a pretty good actor sometimes, I'm also not gonna lie and say if the shit said about him is true, he probably shouldn't be working on the movie. That just sounds like bad publicity. Megaopolis has had a lot of controversies this past year, from an alleged messy shoot where Coppola spent hours in his trailer trying to figure out shots on the day, to Coppola firing the visual effects team and several crew members leaving mid-production, to allegations of Coppola harassing and groping female extras while filming a party scene, to videos of that shoot getting leaked, it's been far from pretty in the movie's build-up to release. The movie almost had no distributor, with studios seeing it as too weird to be a big theatrical release. Lionsgate eventually bought the rights for the film, though they didn't get out scot-free either. They got in trouble when they released a trailer for the film with fake quotes meant to represent negative reviews for Coppola's past movies, playing a narrative that true genius is often misunderstood. On the one hand, that's kind of a clever idea. Using Coppola's past films, which are held as some of the greatest movies of all time, and showing that not everyone got them when they came out is a really good way to sell a movie with very mixed reactions coming out of its premiere at Cannes. What the marketing person failed to realize when doing this is that people can fact check very easily, leading most people to see the reviews were either fake, stolen from other movies, or potentially AI generated. Lionsgate then publicly apologized and fired the person responsible for this trailer. Think about that. This was such a big blunder that they had to make a public apology and public statement that they fired the person responsible. When was the last time you saw that actually happen? In a way, I do feel bad for Coppola and everyone else on the movie. Imagine spending years of your life getting this one movie made, telling this one story, so much so you're willing to go bankrupt in order to achieve your vision, and then all this bad shit piles up on each other and makes one big pile of shit, like in Jurassic Park. But on the other hand, Coppola did not help himself if these allegations are true. If he put this much money into this movie and didn't plan out his shots ahead of time, casted actors who were tied up in their own controversial shit, acted like a creep towards extras, and proceeded to say he didn't want his movie about building a future utopia to be woke, I don't know what to say. Let this be a lesson for aspiring filmmakers. You may be one of the best storytellers of your time, but that doesn't mean you can't be above some dumb ass choices.